Hi, hey, Roger here, and I want to talk to you about a, some a little bargain my wife found at a uh, thrift shop. Pay twenty dollars for it. It's a uh, Delta compound miter saw. I should say compound bevel because you can. Uh, there's a adjustment back here where you can alter the angle here. In addition to changing your angles this way, talk a little bit about this bargain find here. Uh, of course, it, the blade that came on, it's a good blade, Freud blade, but it is mighty dull and needs to be sent off for sharpening. I did find a uh, Freud Diablo to put on it, trying to find an eight and a quarter inch blade can be somewhat of a challenge. I was ordered a, able to order one, got one on there, and just used it for a little trim project recently. Uh, I'll get, aim the camera down so you can get a little bit closer look at this. Okay, this here give you a little bit more of a close up. The thing is very light. Um, I suppose it might weigh 15 pounds. Get this out of the way before something happens. I did make a couple of little extension wings with just a, a simple box. Put a couple of dowels on the end. They line up with the holes that are in the end here, and you can shove them in and put one in on each side for you got a little bit longer stock. I uh, just recently used this to finish up a little bit of trim in a bathroom that I've been putting off for about 20 years, but one of them honeydew jobs and it got finished. Uh, like I said, this does have a dust collection port on it. But it doesn't work all that great. I'll pull the back over here. Hook this up. Do a little cut here and you'll be able to see you'll still get a lot of sawdust that will uh, come flying out the back. So as you can see the dust collection part of it doesn't work too good. The only other little thing I don't like, and I can't really complain too much for as cheap as this was, but to uh, change the angles you have to grab a hold of the base, grab a hold of the handle, and you can pull it, there it locks at 15, 22 and a half, 30, then 45. But it's kind of a pain to do. It, it, unless you have this clamp down you can't just grab that and turn it because the whole saw will turn. There is a little knob on the front here right here if you want to lock into an angle where there isn't a detent for. I usually just leave that a little bit loose. Also a safety up here so you can't pull this trigger here unless this is pushed in. Which I find a little bit of a nuisance sometimes when I, I always forget that that's there but I suppose it's a good safety feature. Uh, to change the blades in this, flip this around again here. Actually I'm going to unplug it. change the blades, you need to take all of this mechanism apart for the guard and then uh, you have to take this little piece loose up here and then you can get to the uh, arbor nut. On the back side there is a lock right here you can push in which will lock the blade so you, you can work it with your wrench. So overall not a bad little thing for 20 bucks and another forty dollars for a good blade and I'll get that Freud blade sharpened so, all in all, not a bad deal. Uh, this is a model number 36-040. Whether or not they still make these, I don't know. Lock it in like that. You can wrap the cord around it. Like I said before, it takes just nothing to pick this thing up and carry it around. Nice little portable unit. Unlike uh, my other ones, I do have a 10-inch Ryobi, which is not in the shop right now. I've got it at uh, another location. And I got my big 10 inch DeWalt, or I should say 12 inch DeWalt compound sliding miter saw. That's on a stand and that sucker is heavy so it's not portable but this isn't for big jobs either. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, segment on that de little Delta $20 bargain thrift store saw. Uh, there's bargains out there to be found if you look around for them. I have picked some good deals up at yard sales and so on. And particularly farm auctions and estate auctions. Uh, it, of course that little Delta doesn't compare to this big DeWalt right here, my big 12 inch. 
compound miter saw, but uh, it is much lighter. It is good for a little quick jobs here and there. So, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.